we got a little bit of sun peeking through some of those clouds. A few scattered showers popping up, a little bit of patchy morning fog tomorrow. And then as we move into the weekend, we'll see more sunshine and more breaks in the clouds. And that might correlate to a decent viewing of the solar eclipse. That happens Saturday morning. Kind of starts right around 8 a.m. It peaks at about 923 and it ends closer to 11 a.m. When it peaks, it's not going to be one where you can look up at the sun, but instead, the moon will obscure part of the sun, so you need those special glasses to look at it. If you look directly into the sun, you are going to burn your eyeballs and you are going to just pay for that dearly down the road. So don't do that. Come up with a way to look at it safely. Pro tip. 64 degrees on Saturday. It is going to be mostly cloudy, so hopefully we can catch a couple of breaks in those clouds. When it comes to Sunday, it looks like the chance of rain returns to the forecast, and that sticks around through a good chunk of next week. It's just kind of one of those inclement weather patterns that just lingers overhead. There's our ridge of high pressure building off the coast, our trough overhead, and that atmospheric trough at play pulls cold air in from off to the north. The cold air sits on top of us, and that gives us conditional instability. Conditional instability is why we're seeing some of those scattered showers kind of popping up in eastern Washington and north Idaho. A little bit of activity just south of Spokane and some of that trying to work its way into town. But overall, we're just going to see a few light showers this evening and then those come to an end. As they come to an end, skies clear out. The clearing skies gives us an opportunity for radiational cooling or radiative cooling. Basically, all of the heat just escapes up into the atmosphere. And what that means for us is our temperatures drop. As those temps drop, our temperature nears the dew point. That magic number of about four degrees apart is when you can get fog to form. And with our overall weather pattern, it is likely that we get fog to form early tomorrow morning and then eventually burn off, offering us more sun both tomorrow afternoon and Friday. Those wind up kind of being our sunniest days. 60 tomorrow, 67 on Friday, and then temperatures kind of hover in the mid 60s early next week. But mid 60s is still considered above average for this time of year. So even as that chance of rain returns Sunday, all in all, this forecast isn't looking too bad, considering.